I can't sneak out in this light. Huh? Huh? What was that? Die, spook! You took your bloody spear! Straight away! You deaf or what? I sent a prisoner to Scott! And the double! Where the hell is everyone? Guards, over here! I am Shilad Fitz Estelin, emissary of the Empire of Nilfgaard and its most divine emperor, Emir Var Emrys. What do you want of me, Nilfgaardian? Simply to speak, my lady. Ah, really? Something you would not dare were my son still alive. I very much regret the death of the Baron Lavalette. Please accept my deepest condolences. Yet it is precisely his loss that renders our conversation mutually desirable. Let go of me. I shall walk unaided. I shall return, rogue! And I shall repay you! Let us go, my lady. Your cries can do us no good. Four letters. 
Back body part. What was that? Come in, Master Geralt. Allow me to introduce the Baroness Lavalette, mother to the royal children, who at present mourns the passing of her eldest son. Milady. I comfort the Baroness with assurances that House Lavalette need suffer no more, its future brighter as it stands protected by the Empire of Nilfgaard. Did you kill my son, Arya? I had no choice. He knew what can happen once swords are drawn and begin to swing. He chose death over shame. Stubborn like his father and grandfather before him. Honor above all. How did he die? Did he suffer? No. I doubt he felt the final blow. Didn't even see it coming. There's that, I suppose. Milady, I killed many during the assault, not just your son. War demands sacrifices. You might remember that the next time you're about to start one. Have some compassion, Master Geralt. The Baroness requires support. She is distraught as it is. Unnecessary toil, Excellency, for witches have no feelings. And the truth, especially when painful, can wake us from the slumber of self-deception. I deserved as much. Milady, I wouldn't trust the Ambassador if I were you. Master Geralt, let us be serious, please. Let him speak. I wish to hear this. I didn't know your son, but I know he saw the Empire as a foe, as did King Foltest. You've no notion of the events transpiring in the Kingdom, of what Kimbolt, Maravel, and their ilk are capable. My duty is to Foltest's children, their safety. And though I too, see a pact with Nilfgaard as a pact with the devil. I feel I have no choice. Besides, can you say that you really knew the king? Well enough to be confident of my words. Truly? In that case, what kind of a man was he? I wish to know your view. He was ruthless, hard and effective. A good king. Effectiveness is the mark of a good witcher. We've learned to expect other things from monarchs, say, justice and wisdom. Few are born wise, milady. He did all he could to preserve and safeguard the realm. The ambassador questioned your guilt. It seems now that I too believe you did not slay the king. Your Excellency, you will aid the witcher to escape the castle. That is my wish. But, my lady, this would represent an immeasurable risk in my estimation. And there is the matter of your son. He chose his fate, and departed in a manner worthy of the Lavalettes. How am I to believe you'll protect me from reptiles like Kimbolt and Maravel when you balk at the notion of deceiving a few prison guards? My lady, I shall do what is in my power. Give me a moment, Witcher, then proceed to the main gate. <laughs> 